were out of another cup at the first attempt, disappointing? Uh, yes and no. Um, disappointing because I think these competitions are, are able to keep your squad nice and healthy without having to arrange friendlies to keep minutes into people. Um, tonight, I think we made eight changes from Saturday. So it's always going to be a little bit disjointed, which I felt first half it was. Uh, but we started the game so well, we so bright and really good. And then I thought Hamel were better than us first half. I thought the total dominated us. And they've got a very good side there, we knew that. Uh, but a little bit disappointed in the end. And I could probably come away more frustrated than I thought I would, even if we got knocked out. Because I felt we had very good opportunities to put the game to bed tonight and not hit the target. And uh, that, that's probably left me more frustrated than actually losing the game. It all seemed to turn almost when Christian Smith went off in the second half because suddenly they get a penalty, they level, and then they go and win the game. What was he the turning point? Oh, massively, massively. I felt very comfortable second half. I thought it was a little bit of a basketball game. Simeon got used to the left back position where he's never played. We've got a 17 year old at right back who's going to be a, a fantastic player from Steve Lynch. Um, but Christian and Sam were, were, were kind of demanding there, and, and I felt quite comfortable second half. The minute you lose him, you know, we've got no recognised centre halves on the bench and all that injured. Um, and then obviously kyron has gone in there and probably just not got used to, to the position straight away and it's probably too quickly that we've been done with it all over the top and um, he, he's given away a penalty unfortunately and um, that, that's what happens and that, that for me was probably the turning point in terms of them getting back into the game. Um, but up till then I felt that we had good chances second half to, to put the game to bed. So with the new players and different players and not the first team that started tonight, anybody particularly stand out for you? I thought Anis was superb. I think, um, you know, I brought him to the club because I know what he can do. And I think he's shown that tonight, some real good glimpses. As the team gets tired, he seems to get better. Uh, I thought that Kane Young came done well at right back, considering they say he's not right back, he's a, he's a midfielder. Um, Steve is playing there and I wanted to have a look at him there. I think Leon, we've seen glimpses of, of real quality. and, and Christian Smith has sort of really now done that position for me. I thought he was excellent tonight. So there, there were some positives from Kyron, loads of energy, great to get minutes into Corks. But that's why I like these games because it keeps the squad healthy and, and happy. So to go out in the competition is disappointing. But as I say, have well good side. And, um, I think they'll be uh, they'll be challenging this year. It wouldn't shock me if they're in our league next year because they've got a very good side. There. So looking ahead to Saturday, then there's an away game at Cheshire and we've got no Tommy Brewer. We've got no Cuba, um, we've got no Tommy Smith. Christian Smith or he? 50 50. Um, you know, it's. Uh yeah, we, it's a little bit, again, we're back to sort of where we were a couple of weeks ago, but we'll assess it on Thursday, see where we're at. Um, Christian just felt he's growing tonight. Tommy's calf is still playing up, uh, or growing, I think that was as well. And um, uh, Cuba's going to be 19 days, so not only that, we've got LP that's, that's struggling as well. and. Um, but I thought, I thought Jaden Clark again tonight come on and show real quality for us. And um, there's lots of positives. You know, we, we've got to make sure we've got cover up in, in certain areas of the park, which we, we probably didn't need. Now we probably do again. Um, but no, on, on the whole, I'm, I'm, I'm happy where we are. But I would have um, I would have liked to have got a victory, but it wasn't to be. And it's Hamwell's night and fair play to him. I think they're a very good side. Again, looking forward to Cheshire on Saturday. Do you think we might be seeing Joe White back in action? Again, 50-50, we need to assess it. You know, he got through a little bit of a session tonight, but he's not feeling very well at all. There's a little bit of a flu going around the camp at the moment again. So um, we need to just monitor him where he is. I thought Brooks, he was probably a game too many for him tonight. I, I needed to leave him out, but we tried to get a couple of boys over the line last night, but just didn't manage to do it in time. So it, it, it's very much a, a different side tonight, but Lots of positives. I thought Hamwell dominated for 35 minutes of the first half today. I thought they were very good. And um, but but as I say, we need to keep moving forward. Really hard game at Chesham. 48 hours later, we go to we go to Beaconsfield. So we got a really tough and white, uh, two games. That'll be our fourth away game in in, in space of five games. So um, it's it's not been easy. But um, there's some, there's some really good signs. I think it's the best the squad's been. And uh, hopefully we can. Um, produce something on Saturday and Monday and come away with some points and uh, keep moving up the table.